good afternoon students welcome to suresh gyan vihar university today we will discuss role play teaching method teaching method comprehends the principle and method used by teacher to enable student learning these strategies are determined partially on the subject matter to be taught and partially by the nature of the learner for a particular teaching method to be appropriate and efficient it has been be relation with the characteristics of the uh, learner and the type of the learning is to be supposed to bring out the approaches for the teaching can be broadly class classified into two category teacher center uh, method and student center method today we will discuss role play role play uh, technique uh, firstly designed by in 1910 by morino role playing is a technique uh, used in the learning process to provide participation and involvement in the learning process role play basically based on cognitive uh, theory now first we will discuss the objective of the uh, role play A student will be able to comprehend the define the meaning of role play method A student will be able to analyze and understand the role play method A student will be able to know the importance of role play method A student will be able to know the type of role play method A student will be able to comprehend the steps of role play method A student will be able to acknowledge the objective of role play method a student will be able to comprehend the role play for teacher in role playing method a student will be able to know the demerits of role play method a student will be able to use the role play method for their teaching skill a student will be able to comprehend the role of teacher in role play method first we will discuss the definition of role play method role play is an educational method in which people spontaneously act out problem of human relation and analyze the management with the help of other role players and observer second definition of role play role playing is a discussion technique that make possible to get maximum participation of a group through acting out an example of some problem or idea under discussion in this ppt you are watching they are doing some acting cognitive learning method it means role play based on cognitive learning method in it is based on learning by doing theory it is part of two broad method socio drama and second psycho drama now first we will discuss socio drama deal with interaction of pupil with other individuals or 
group like mother nurse and leader it always involve situation of more than one person and deals with problem related to majority of the group psychodrama it is participated in a group setting and is mainly concerned with the unique needs and problem of a particular individual the audience identify with roles in a role playing or a critical observation bring out learning purpose of role play to present inter personal problems to provide emotional and effective stimulus for solving the problem to provide awareness about social and psychological issues to develop a situation for analysis to prevent alternative courses of action to prepare for meeting future situation to develop an understanding of other point of view to convey information to develop specific skills now we will discuss principles of role play role play is based on the philosophy that meanings are in pupil and not in the words or symbols if philosophy is accurate one most in the first place share the meaning then clarity over understanding of each others meanings and finally if necessary change our meanings role play has to do with the self concept the self concept is best changed through direct involvement in a realistic and life life related problem situation uh, rather than hearing about such situation from others it means a student directly involved in such situations creating a teaching situation that lead to change of self concept requires a distinct organizations pattern role play should be flexible it means we can change whenever we uh, need a role play should be stimulated yeah stimulate to think 
and should not be an escape from discipline or learning there is a no single best method of selecting the characters the group may do the assigning it require rehearsal as an important feature to produce effective outcome and for audience to help player interrupt their roles role play should be done for a brief period so that the attention of the audience may be captured effectively enough time should be allowed for discussion and analysis of the situation role play evaluates the teacher and participations through discussion or follow up as to specific individual behavior or sequence of group actions now we will discuss steps of role play there are three steps of role play first step is planning phase second step is implementation phase third phase is evaluation phase in a uh, first play uh, phase planning phase during the planning phase the following point are to be considered first selection a problem for a role second step the role play scene third point getting underway in role play making the role play comprehensive these four step involve in our planning phase again i am uh, repeating these four phase selection a problem for a role set up the role play scene third getting underway in role play making the role play comprehensive if we will follow all four steps all four phase then our role play execution will definite achieve 
objective. Selecting a problem. The group leader recognize a problem that can be effectively role played and suggest into the group. The group can list problems on the blackboard and decide problem they want to work out. It means in role play, all participation, all participate will work on the selection of the problem. They discuss each problem which each other and write down on the blackboard, then they will select the problem. Set up role play scene. The group should come to clear agreement on the chief objective to be realized in role planning. The group must determine what characters, characters are to be involved, the attitude and personality of the character, the setting of the story, and the point at which the story should being getting underway in the role play. This is our third phase of planning phase. The role taker are usually go out of the room and give a few minutes to warm up or get a feeling of the roles they are about to play. Specify names other than their own should be used to get them into their roles. The role players should attempt to express the attitudes the group has assigned to the various characters as well as achieve the goals decided upon. The story grows out of the natural reactions of the characters and acted in role playing. Those members not involved in the role play act, they act as observers. They may be assigned to watch particular role players or to took uh, or to look for importance clues that come out of role playing. Making the 
रोल प्ले कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव दिस इज अवर फोर फेज ऑफ प्लानिंग ऑफ द रोल प्ले द लीडर मे कट एट ए पॉइंट वेयर enough action has already occurred to the provide a basis for discussion the leader may get immediate reaction of role players how they left in their roles and how they responded to other response in the scene the leader may use the role name of the each person in the discussion so that the players does not feel he is being evaluated when role players succeed in projecting themselves into their role assigned to the them they usually give valuable insight into the problem and provide additional material for discussion now second uh, steps of role play implementation and third step of role play evaluation of the role play as the audience observe constitute the heart of the role playing we usually consider their opinion as an important feedback feedback is short as to how did the group think the role was handled what were the good point of action and uh, or what were the poor point or role playing observer this might be played by different propel so that there might be a comparison of the behaviors of different pupil summarize phase the leader sums up the to the group chief points or principles which have come out in the playing and the comments of the observer so follow the comments on a specific problem should be taken under consideration process individual study role assignment
ग्रुप डिस्कशन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ शेयर आर्टी क्राफ्ट आर्टी फैक्ट्स नाउ वी विल डिस्कस एडवांटेज ऑफ रोल प्ले children have always learned from mimicking or duplicating the actions of other including their parents peer teacher role playing is a simple a communication of the learning already done by students people enjoy playing especially young people if students are already motivated to play learning through play would become even easier role playing encourages the use of critical thinking because it involve analyzing and problem solving therefore role play is a cognitive learning method role playing te teachers sorry role play teaches many lessons some of the most important lesson it teaches are lesson that are needed in society competition cooperation and empathy competition copy ration and empathy these are the three uh, three main uh, lesson uh, give given by the role play participation in role play allows the student to make decision and through the feedback he or she receive he sees the result of his actions and can be therefore learn how to adjust his word and action to produce more likeable result role play allows for the interaction between classmate and peers it also allows introvert students to speak out it help to break down the uh their silence or uh their introvert attitude role play allows for the exchange of knowledge between students the teacher is also able to see the 
various capabilities of a student at the same time role play develop communication skill in the student develop communication skills uh developing uh sensitivity towards other feelings uh develop skills in uh, group problem uh, solving uh develops ability to observe and analyze situation uh role play encourage independent thinking uh positive impact uh, role play uh, develop independent thinking uh role play build confidence role play develop creativity credibility safe feel self esteem self valued develop by role play role play develop self awareness uh a uh, role play uh, safe environment the challenges a uh, student will be able to solve the problem student develop accountability business productivity these are the main advantage or we can say importance of role play role play especially useful for intro personality student now we will discuss disadvantage of role play role playing is a means and not an end role play requires expert guideline and leadership participation may sometime participation participants may sometime feel threatened it is used as an education technique not as a therapy utic one and heavily depends on the student imagination it is time consuming in developing group readiness it is limited only by the teachers unity and realistic use
now these are the mcqs of this topic first question is a good drama does not include four option you have you have to choose one option suitable answer is c a good drama does not include very long play second question is which is not objective of drama slash role play 